Finally. Years ago, look at you. I did you a favor. Zaid, please. I'm gonna die here, man. Do something. Try, you son of a bitch. Oh, damn. Thermal clip on the oil. Guess what? Cool guys never look at explosions. Too bad Zaid is not a cool guy. And that's the end of the mission. Zaid is now loyal. Which is good. Zaid powered. Unlocked. There you go. That's that mission. Not the best, but it'll have to do. We're gonna do it. We did it. So now we're just probably gonna go to the Citadel. I think that's what I'll do. And get that out of the way, because I've been waiting on that for a long time. Okay, let's just head straight there. Let's not even bother going back to Zaid. So... Extended fuel cells. I don't know what that is. But... Let's just exit this system and go to the Aquila system. Come on, I never remember the names of any of the systems. There's no reason to. And... Might as well stop by the fuel depot while we're here. I'll probably do some more probing off screen too to get some more resources for the upgrades and stuff. So what I'll be doing off screen is I'll go get Thane back, go get resources, and that's about it I guess. That's about it. That's all that really needs doing anyway. So Citadel, we were on here very briefly to get Kasumi, but we didn't actually go and see Anderson. So let's go ahead and do that. There's also that side quest we can do for the ship cook. And is that assignment with the, the Solarians from Omega here? Or is that on Ilium? I'll have to look at my journal. But here we are back again at the Citadel. It's a little bit under construction since it was kind of destroyed in the last game. So it's not quite as big. It's actually a lot smaller than it was last time. I in the area that you can access, obviously, not the entire thing. The entire thing's the same size. And since we disabled the the Mass Effect core in it, Reapers can't get through it, so it's just actually a, a place where people live now. Probably, unless it's actually a plot twist to Mass Effect 3. But we'll see. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, so he's loyal, as you can see there, so it's more, so it's Kasumi. Okay, it really doesn't matter who you choose here, because you're not fighting anyone, so just, I don't know, Garrison, Jack, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, let's go with Garrison Tally, because they, they say some funny stuff. <clears throat> they say some funny stuff. Oh, I forgot to do the advanced training. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, combat? No, combat drone sucks. Let's go with this one. AI hacking. It's going to be very useful for later levels. And here we are back again. Let me just check if this... This, uh, mission... Let's see, uh, we already finished this. Oh, we have to go and... Wait. Speak to Gr- oh, we have to actually turn in that quest. I forgot to do that. Alright, packages for Ish. It is on the Citadel. Packages are near Marib's shop on the Citadel. Oh, and Ilium. Okay. So I guess we'll do that too. Hey, Garrus. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Yeah. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert. Be safe. Okay. Thanks for your time. Next. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just like it was. Same. This recruits is a twenty oh. kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. 
Every five seconds, the main gun of an Here's a keeper. Yeah, so he's just gun savvy. What's the matter? Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. <laughs> Go to hell. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. I think this is actually where you do Thane's loyalty mission too, You'll but have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna We can't. Yes. Not yet. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. Don't change it. Anonymity is useful in my current mission. Sure, you're a goddamn hero. It's not like we have to worry about you smuggling guns in or something. I just put a block in the system. Officially, you still don't exist. And you won't get oh, hassled thanks, man. the security checkpoints. Thanks. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I heard you and Councillor Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to it? No, I'm good. But you're a cool guy. I like you. He's a cool guy. You need anything else? Let me know. He'll help us out later in Thane's mission. He's a cool guy. Okay, so uh, we can get some more Renegade here. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. <gasps> I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So you're saying I'm poor? <laughs> Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey! <laughs> this store discriminates against the poor... <laughs> Please, calm down. As an apology, I want to have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? I haven't seen that before. All right. But you still hurt my feelings. Do you... Please, can, enjoy your shopping experience. Do you want a hug, Shepard? Do you want a hug? Space hamster! Oh my god, space hamster! I'm totally buying that. Guys, I have a space hamster. I have a freaking space hamster. You can't beat that. That's gonna that's gonna be the name of this part. Just space hamster. And as usual, I'm just buying everything because I have more money than I know what to do with. Sovereign. So do you want to get one of the fish or maybe a model ship? Alright. How is a model ship supposed to I don't know. I don't know if I'm even going the right way, hopefully. This thing looks pretty cool right here, whatever it is. It's Gel stuff. Do you ever miss those talks we had on the elevators? No. <laughs> Come on. Remember how we'd all ask you about life on the flotilla? It was an opportunity to share. This conversation is over. <laughs> Tell me again about your immune Cares. I have a shotgun. Mm, maybe we'll talk. <laughs> That's why I decided to bring those two along to the Citadel, because I remembered they have a special conversation. Alright, let me just get the discounts before I start buying stuff. You can get discounts at every shop, I think. Every single one. Human. Almost. Give me a discount. <laughs> I understand you sell hunting supplies. I'm interested. Why would human scavengers need guns? They only strike when their prey is weak. Like that time the Citadel was attacked by Geth and you killed the Council. As I recall, you had a fleet here to protect the Council. Sovereign blew right through them. Too bad your admirals didn't ask us for help sooner. At least you've got us here to protect you now. What are you saying? I'm saying that you're going to help me by selling these weapons at cost. Because you know humans are the best defense this place has right now. Fine. You've got it. Now buy something and get out. Pleasure doing business with you. Go to hell. You go to hell. So I'll just buy this crap. Oh, there's an Aegis vest. Increases health by 5%. Okay. Just buy all our crap here. Still got... 44,000 credits still, that's a pretty decent amount. After buying like everything. Some Have Renegade Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Oh, Game Salesman. Game. It's based on Turian mythology. It's the, oh, it's an MMO. What do you know? I don't know where the hell I'm going, just FYI. <laughs> just kind of wandering. Oh, it's a club. Don't care. I don't remember if there's anything useful in that club. 
don't remember where anything is right now. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Oh yes, let's do this right now. Kalisa Vincene and Al Jelani, Western Virginia. What? What is your name? Kalisa Algini. What? I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Oh, I know. Do you have a minute? Sorry, don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your bath, your news. I just want to give your story. This is the one that kept twisting questions to try and make us look like an asshole. She'll do it again, just watch. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrificing. I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, you're so I incorrigible. I, first time we met. I didn't know the meaning of the word. You son of a bitch! <laughs> I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Okay. You do that. Did you get it? Nice. Yes, you, you, I will watch that show. Shepard punching out some stupid news ladies. Oh, hell yes. I would watch the hell out of that show. The hell out of it. Um, I don't know where I'm going, though. Oh. Well, I guess we could go to the, I don't know what the hell this is, but we could go to the Presidium. Um. Do we have time? I hope we have time. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Here's the old portion of the Citadel right here. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. <laughs> His so name still says Captain Anderson. For this meeting too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. The ambassador knows how to play politics. Just tell him what you need and let him figure out how to push it through. Unfortunately, that usually involves pissing off the rest of the council. They veto my suggestions and nothing changes. Truth is, I just don't have the knack for compromising my principles. A bad trait for a counselor. Oh well. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refused to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? What did you expect? You left me for dead. Turned your back on me, just like you've done to our missing colonists. We thought you were dead. As soon as I heard different, I sent you that message. I know you, Shepard. I know you wouldn't work for Cerberus without a good reason. Something more is going on here. The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems. And I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. Yeah. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. So they they got attacked by a giant Reaper, and they're like, No, I don't think that was really a Reaper, so... The original Council was made up of a bunch of blind, stubborn morons. The new council looks just as bad. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contest, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity, and the council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I think I made my opinion of the council's blessing pretty clear last time around. Keep it. Figured as much. But I had to offer. Doesn't feel like I'm able to give you the help you deserve. It's all up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, oh, you. We need to talk about... Shepard. Your eyes are glitching out. What are you doing here? I've got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. <laughs> 
The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that? Oh, damn, that's right. Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Yeah, go back to your office. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. All right. How the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting oh, to. Oh, I leave, can. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the council. Join my crew and help me stop the collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the <laughs> That galaxy. would be cool if it worked, though. As much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. All right, then. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. All right. Okay, so that should be it for this part. I think I'm actually going to head back to the Normandy for now and go get Thane and do all that stuff and some resources. But I'll be back and we'll probably just do a loyalty mission in the next mission, or next part, sorry. So I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys then.